Welcome back to the 25 Days of Flows, the Power Automate Advent Calendar. Apologies for being a whole hour late, but I got home late tonight. So on this 14th day of the 25 Days of Flows, we're going to talk about comparing spreadsheets. So we got spreadsheet A, we need to compare it to spreadsheet B. And uh, originally this came up because of a customer conversation where we were comparing a desk version of Excel to a uh, book version of Excel. So these were the names that they originally had for these two things, uh, desk and book. And so these two spreadsheets are very much alike, but they're trying to find where they differ. Um, and then whatever is different is going to go into another data source. So I just want to talk about how you can compare and kind of um, do that in a really neat way. So let's go look at flow. There are a ton of ways of doing this, um, but we're going to take this way tonight and then we'll talk about other ways in the future. So I've already built the flow and so I'll just walk you through it. Basically, you have a, this is an instant flow. So whenever I want to compare these spreadsheets, I can just press my button. Then I have an array value variable here called var unique. And so these, this variable is going to catch anything that is unique. It's not in both spreadsheets. It's only in one. Um, and so how do I get the spreadsheets? Well, I have two scopes. I have a scope for sp spreadsheet number one, and I renamed it spreadsheet number one, and it's sitting on OneDrive for business. And then after I list those rows, then I go ahead and use a select statement to call out three columns. So that's all I need. And I also put a compose in here to see how many rows are in there. It just helps me in troubleshooting. This won't come out um, in the process at all. It's just my way of checking the length of the array. And so that is the first spreadsheet. Second spreadsheet, I really literally just copied this scope and renamed it book just to have a different name. It could have been spreadsheet two, spreadsheet one, that would have been fine. Uh, and then I'm pointing to the second spreadsheet. They're both in my OneDrive and I do a select statement getting the same columns. And it is useful to copy and paste here so that you're sure you have the same columns because I have done it before where I'll make a mistake and not have the same columns in both. Um, so after I do that, I'm going to do a condition. I'm going to compare the first select statement to the second select, select statement. And if they are the same, then they will just be a mo mobile notification that says these files are the same. Okay. There is no, there is no variance. All right. So that's what will happen if it's yes. Now, if it's no, though, we're going to go into an apply for each. And that apply to each is going to be on the first spreadsheet as far as the output of the select from the first spreadsheet. And there's going to be a condition. And basically, uh, the condition is if the second spreadsheet contains the current item, then there's no variance. However, if it doesn't, then we found a variance. And so in this case, we're going to uh, append to the array value, the, to the array variable var unique, the current item. And then we can count the length of the var. So this is the, so basically the formula for this is length variables var unique. And length will give you a count of either letters in a string, or I should say digits in a string. No, characters in a string. There you go. And uh, or uh, the count of elements in an array. Okay, so that's that. And then I create an HTML table. In real life, I probably would actually, instead of doing an HTML table, I would do the next thing in the process. Like, Maybe I would update a, a database or maybe I would update something else. Um, but in order for you to see the items that are different, I put them in an HTML table. Okay. That is the whole flow. Now 
very simple flow actually it's 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 much simpler when you look at it than and it is in real life you know when you think about it um and the select statement helps a lot because you can compare array to an array really easily all right so i'm going to save this and make sure this says saved all right now we're going to go to onedrive and look at these documents so there's spreadsheet one and spreadsheet two uh where did i put them let's do a search up here spreadsheet spreadsheet okay where did i put it i'm pretty sure it's at the root so let's just look slowly yeah it's this one so i should have done a spreadsheet one a spreadsheet two uh, let me just sort this alphabetically. That will help us find it. Because what I'm going to do is override two. So I'm going to open one. I'm going to open it in. Sorry, I didn't mean to download. I'm going to open it in Excel. Number one. Wait for that to open. Okay, and now I'm going to override number two. So I'm gonna save a copy, choose the same uh, directory, and override number two. So what does that mean? That means one and two are now identical because I've overridden number two with number one. Okay, then I'm gonna close Excel. And I'm gonna go back and run this flow. So we're just gonna test it. Uh, basically, since I've overridden the file, they are identical. It shouldn't find any variants. Okay, if we open this up, no variants. Okay, so now we're going to go back and we're going to open up spreadsheet number one. Again, we'll open it up in Excel, just a little easier for me. Open. And we're going to create a variance, right? This will test our flow. So I'm going to make this long ID number shorter. So that was something called Charming Jim. Well, I guess since I didn't put this column, let me just do this one. So I'm going to put Centre A for number 11, so this is Charming Jim. And then for Stylish Terraces, I'm gonna add a B. And then for each of these residentials, I'm going to add a C. So now I've edited four things in spreadsheet one. I'm going to just, I'm in the cloud so I can just close it because it's saving. And then I'm going to go back to flow and run the same flow again. And you can run it from the flow list as well. I want to see the results though. So it is running. We'll just give it a second or two. Now it should find, I think we did four, so it should find four different items okay so then we're gonna and there it is they are so really easy to compare one thing that you may have been looking for is like the opposite of intersection but it doesn't really exist so this is your other way of doing it so i hope you've enjoyed this um 14th day of the 25 days of flow and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Thank you and have a happy holiday.